Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that drives, flies and floats and take you along for the experience. Our mission is to give you information so you can make a more informed purchasing decision and give you a little bit of fun along the way. Nothing's been more fun though than having you back on the show, Kate. Oh, stop it. It's been great to be back. I really missed it. Well, actually. we missed her, didn't we? We did. What is on today's show? Well, I figured seeing as I am back in action, we'd do a bit of a rewind. Back to one of my favourite shoots when I got to fly in the sky in a vintage target moth. And someone I hear was a baby. Oh, the screams are for effect. <laughs> Thanks to Sunliner Motorhomes, Dan jumps on board the G56 and explores the Dandenongs. Dan's in the dandelions. Yes, Kate, Dan's, Dan's in the dandelions. It's quite funny. He's in the dandelions. Yes. Yeah. Sunliner know exactly what it takes to create the perfect holiday vehicle. And thanks to City Toyota, Ross gets behind the wheel of the sporty Camry RZ. Once behind the wheel, immediately you feel the ride, which is a little firm. But that, of course, is due to the sports tuned suspension. And what about Celebrity Hitchhiker? Our Celebrity Hitchhiker today, Kate, is Nathan Butler from Winners and Losers. Oi. First car you ever owned? First car, uh, Mitsubishi Magna, 1970. It's a station wagon. So, Kate, are you ready? I was born ready, eh? Well, you better be ready because it's time for Zoom TV. <laughs> Kate, there's no spirit figures <laughs> on Zoom now. TV. No, there's not. Now, if you're a Toyota enthusiast and the letters RZ are mentioned, immediately you'll think about that fantastic car, the Supra Twin Turbo. It was a machine. Well, Toyota have now added those two letters to one of the models in the brand new Camry lineup. Now, their advertising for this car is it brings out the bad in dad. Does it? I think it just might. So it's time for a closer look, and I must say, they do look the goods. Huge 17-inch alloys in a gloss black finish, side skirts and decals certainly set off the side view of the car. Front on also looks the business, with black fog light bezels and a darker look into the auto headlights. Throw in the black finish grille and you have an aggressive yet stylish look. At the rear, the bootlip spoiler has been added and protruding from the rear skirt are twin exhausts. Now, Toyota claim the twin pipe system increases the power from 133 kilowatts to 135. Now, the Japanese manufacturer has used a lot of the Atara fit out in this vehicle, plus added a few more bits and pieces. Sports instrumentation, a three spoke steering wheel, a touchscreen audio system, and a sporty gear shift knob. Once behind the wheel, immediately you feel the ride, which is a little firm. But that, of course, is due to the sports tuned suspension. And with alert stability control and the Bridgestone Tarantza tyres, you can really appreciate the road holding prowess if you put it through its paces. As we drive the car further, I must say the steering feels better than previous models. It's more direct and responsive. Now, as far as the engine goes, it's a 2.5 four-cylinder and performs as good as a six. Seating position's good. Instrumentation is easy to see and use. And as far as the leg and headroom, plenty, both front and rear. All in all, the RZ does step up to the mark, but does it bring out the bad in me? That is the question. Well, if I could find somewhere where I could put my boot into it without getting a ticket, maybe so. So why don't you drop in and take one for a test drive? City Toyota, Newcastle Street in Northbridge. How good is the operation? They've won Dealer of the Year six times. For more information, click on to zoomtv.com.au. I'm 
I'm now joined by Johan, one of the lucky winners of the Inn Different City Discount Tyres Performance Driving Day. Johan, how have you found your day? It's been a great day. I've learned a lot about my car and my own driving technique and so on. And it's just, it's been a fun day, awesome day. Have you been able to experience what your car does well and what it does not so well? Yeah, I think I've learned a lot about my car, about the turning in and exiting corners and braking and so forth. So you're a much safer driver? Yes, I'd say so. Awesome. Now tell me about the car you're driving. Well, it's a R33 Skyline uh, GTST, so that's the turbo model. And it's rear wheel drive. I've done a few mods myself, so like turn up the boost off the turbo a bit, new exhaust, a few other things. and. Um, yeah, it goes, it's nice, love it. What is it that you love about it particularly? Oh, I love the looks, I love the, it goes nice, and the drivability. I love it, you're in love with your car. Well, mate, congratulations. Get over there and continue your lesson, eh? Will do, thank you. Do you want to get more out of your diesel? Well, let the team at United Fuel Injection help you. They're the experts in diesel fuel injection, turbocharging and vehicle performance technologies. Make an appointment today and get more talk out of your diesel at unitedfuel.com.au. The Wright brothers, the Red Baron, Maverick and Goose, all important figures in aviation over the years. Well, except for maybe Goose. And now, thanks to the Royal Aero Club of WA, you might be able to add your name to that list with their vintage Tiger Moth flights. So if you can't face the idea of watching yet another DVD on the couch and would rather surround yourself in the romance of the skies, then this incredible and different experience is for you. The Royal Aero Club of WA runs the flights out of the Jancot Airport and you can choose between 30, 45 or the full 60 minute flights that take you sightseeing all over Perth. And there are a couple of other surprises in store too. Book yourself in and you'll get to take to the skies in one of these, a 1940s de Havilland Tiger Moth, one of the models that was used in the Second World War to train pilots. And the best part is, if you're a little bit nervous, like me, you can choose a flying level that suits you. Standard flights will see you soar above Perth in a leisurely and eye-opening way. You get to see everything from a totally new perspective and because the planes have open cockpits, you really get to feel everything too. Depending on the flight you choose, the pilot will take you up the coast to Scarborough and then cruise back down to Coburn Sound, all the while letting you soak in the amazing ocean colours, Rottnest, Garden Island and Perth City itself. If you're game and you want to add a little bit of excitement, you can ask the pilot to do a few barrels and loops. But be warned, this is not for the faint-hearted. If you choose the acrobatics, you're probably going to sound a bit like this. with you, then you should definitely try the formation flying with two separate planes. Both of you will go up in your own Tiger Moth and be part of tandem air manoeuvres making your flight that much more unique and personal. It's just you two and the sky. Whew, not sure why I bothered doing my hair for that one. Now Tiger Moths used to be used as training and crop dusting planes and many people consider them an icon of the past. But that flight was honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever done. It's a huge adrenaline rush and I can't believe I haven't actually done that before. And it certainly beats sitting on the couch and watching a notebook on TV. If you want to book a flight for yourself or grab someone a gift voucher, then head to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to the Royal Aero Club of WA. If you're looking for some fun events to do with anything that flies, drives or floats, thanks to United Fuel Injection, these might be for you. Celebrate the Anzac spirit in New South Wales with the awesome Anzac Day Show and Shine in Warrington. Open to hot rods, cruisers, street machines, classics, muscle cars, exotics and bikes, this event is going to be huge. Plus, there's trophies up for grabs for the top place cars. Barbecue breakfast from 8am on Saturday 25th of April and entry is just a gold coin donation. 
In Victoria, it's the annual Show Cars Melbourne Showdown 4. It's a massive day of all types of driving beasts from hot rods to custom motorbikes and everything in between. Fun for the whole family with food and drinks, trade stalls and a heap of entertainment. Get down to the Westgate Indoor Sports Centre in Altona North on Sunday 26th of April with your $5 entry fee. And in Tasmania, it's one of the biggest and most respected road rallies in Australia, the Targa Tasmania. From the 27th of April to the 2nd of May, this ultimate tarmac rally will cover over 2,000 kilometres and over 40 stages. The drivers are specially selected and are world-class competitors, so the action is electric each and every day. See some of the world's best cars and rally drivers compete in the stunning Tasmanian surroundings. Check the website for full stage details. So there you have it, a whole lot of awesome motoring events happening all around the country. And if you've got an event you want us to plug, go to our website, hit the events tab, zoomtv.com.au, thanks to United Fuel Injection. Whether you're searching for a top quality new or pre-owned vehicle or a factory service with genuine Toyota parts, then City Toyota is your best option. Why? Because they're one of the most awarded Toyota dealers in Australia. And as a five-star customer service dealership, you can be sure the helpful and professional team at City Toyota will always find the right car for you at the right price with the best possible service. To find out more, go to citytoyota.net.au. After the break, Dan explores this wonderful country of ours in a Sunliner motorhome. So stick around, that's up next on Zoom TV. There's something so romantic about the idea of hitting the open road, leaving your regular life behind, just following the sunsets in your own sense of adventure. It's an Australian pastime, the swag man blowing from town to town with just what he can carry. Trouble is, camping under the stars isn't always that comfortable. At least that's what you're gonna think once I've introduced you to the new Sunliner Holiday G56 motorhome. With nearly 40 years experience designing and building the best motorhomes and caravans under the Australian sun, Sunliner know exactly what it takes to create the perfect holiday vehicle. And the idea behind the incredibly popular holiday series is that it's all about choice and encouraging you to build the new motorhome with everything you want. Hey Tori, this is a level of camping that I knew nothing about. This is a Sunliner holiday, tell us about this. Basically the Holiday Series is the most popular within the Sunliner range. Uh, just offers a lot of choice um, right throughout from chassis to layout to specification. So you as a customer can design it to suit your needs then in that sense, you can change the layout. Exactly, you've got a lot of flexibility to actually choose what you like, not be told what you're going to get. What about the interior, can you, can you set that up the way you like it as well? Yeah look, there's two different finishes, there's classic finish or there's a modern finish. Well, I mean, I usually yeah, sleep under the stars with, you know, a dirty old swag covered in pinned down dust. I mean, this, this is actually, it's opened my eyes. It's the perfect camping solution, really, isn't it? Yeah, look, and we offer a lot of layouts within this series. Uh, things like your, your slide-out walls, your, your double beds at the back, drop-down beds. Mate, I, okay, I might have to take one with me. You don't mind, do you? I'm sure you've got a spare. <laughs> <laughs> this is unreal. Luxury. The model we're reviewing is the Holiday G56, which is mounted on a Mercedes chassis and the quality and reliability of the engine and drivetrain are all at Mercedes premium level. When it comes to the styling and comfort though, it's all Sunliner. Now the first thing you'll notice about the G56 is that it, it has a lower roof than most of its counterparts, which means there's less chance of getting caught up on a branch or an overhang and makes it more aerodynamic, in turn, more fuel efficient. Now the exterior is fitted with a pull-out awning which is just perfect for sunsets. Watching it with Cheese and Vickies is my recommendation. Outside are all the necessities like you've got your power, electricity power outlets, you've got your fresh water, your grey water, you've got an outdoor shower and a generator. It's just perfect. So it looks pretty impressive but just when you think you know all about it, the G56 reveals a little something hidden up its sleeve. That's right the side slides out to give you more leg room. The module features the G56 dining table and seats, and when it's all the way out, there's plenty of room in here, so it really does feel like a comfortable space. Add to that the fact that both the driver and the passenger seats swivel all the way around, and you've got yourself a great sitting area. Everything you've left behind at home. 175 litre double door fridge, 
three burner oven and grill, a microwave, and for entertaining an LCD TV and DVD player. Of course, once the touring has finished for the day and it's time to turn in, the G56 comes with this wonderful shower. It's got its own toilet. And through here is this very comfortable double inner spring mattress. And I should say there's been a number of times I've been camping and wished I'd just taken a couple of the little luxuries from home, a few comforts. This would have been fantastic. But then roughing it, hey? Doesn't get better than that. If you think it might be time to trade your everyday life for the freedom of owning your own motorhome, then you have to take a look at the Sunliner Holiday Series. Don't forget, you can choose exactly how you'd like your vehicle set up to suit your style of travelling, and the team at Sunliner have all the knowledge to get you into your dream RV. For more information, jump onto sunliner.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Here on Zoom TV, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without the support of some great partners. Now, I'm very proud to announce we have a brand new platinum partner, Total Nissan, out in Cannington, WA. Now, Steve, we've had some of your products on already. I'm very proud of the partnership. Thank you very much for joining the team. It's a great to be part of the team and part of Zoom TV. Now, what I've seen with some of the cars we've already looked at is Nissan is definitely evolving into a very powerful manufacturer. Well, I think all manufacturers go through a cycle, but we are very excited to where Nissan's heading at the moment. We've got a great new product in the um, Nissan Navara that's about to be launched. We have the Micra and Pulsar, which are just being revised. I believe we have the best range of SUVs in the marketplace, from small to large, ranging from the Duke, the Qashqai, X-Trail and Pathfinder. Now, if people buy a product off you, especially the new product, the great thing is you've got one of the largest service centres south of the river. Uh, yes, we do. We're very proud of the service centre we've got here and we're constantly evolving and measuring our customers' needs and wants and requirements so that we can actually deliver the best quality service possible. Now, Steve, one of the great things of dealing with Total Nissan is obviously peace of mind because you're part of Australia's largest automotive group. Yes, we are. Uh, we're part of AHG with over 120 dealerships across Australia, ranging all the way through Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and of course WA. OK, so they don't just get satisfaction, peace of mind, they also get access to the largest buying power in Australia. Without a doubt. Uh, our focus is on customer satisfaction and being the size we are, we actually have the capacity to deliver something really special to our customers. And you don't get to be in part of the biggest group unless you're doing things right. Absolutely correct. Okay, well you're doing things right. Thanks for coming on board Zoom TV. Looking forward to some of the products we're gonna to get to experience this year. Absolute pleasure. Now, if you'd like to experience Total Nissan, jump onto totalnissan.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. After the break, I catch up with this week's celebrity hitchhiker, Nathan Butler from Winners and Losers. <laughs> Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Welcome back to Zoom TV. You're in time to catch up with me and my celebrity hitchhiker, who today is Nathan Butler from Winners and Losers. Mate, how are you? I'm good. How are always you? say hello and greet a man as experienced actor as what you are. You're on Winners and Losers. Yep. You've done some stuff in the States. You've been in movies. You would what people would call a successful actor. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's taken some time, but uh, yeah. So share the story. How did it all start and how did you end up where you are now? Uh, it started out, I grew up on a cattle property in far north Queensland and I went to boarding school in Townsville and I just had a drama teacher who told me I should audition for NIDA and I did and got in when I was 17 and that was it. That kind of decided my career path for me and from there just started getting bit parts in Australia and eventually moved to America landed a role in General Hospital, and then just come over on to Winners and Losers. Okay, so let's get on to what you're doing now. Winners and Losers, yep. one of the most popular shows on the Seven Network. Why is it popular? And can you give me any goss about your character? Uh, can, we, can we squeeze you for a little bit of Zoom goss? Yeah, look, it's popular because it's a fun show. 
you know, it's a dramedy. The girls are amazing to work with. Yep. Um, and we just have a great time, you know? It's a fun show. It's definitely the, the, the best show I've ever worked on. Now it's time to answer questions. The Fast Five, you ready for them? Yes. Okay. First car you ever owned? First car, uh, Mitsubishi Magna, 1970, it was a station wagon. I had two massive speakers in the back that were as big <laughs> as this couch. Just so you couldn't hear the timing belt going exactly. kitten, kitten, kitten. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is your opinion of the best car on the road? The best car on the road, um, I'd have to say the BMW. They're a good car. I had a uh, BMW car. convertible and I did love it, but then I, my wife has an Audi, so I mean, we like that. But. I sold those and now I have a Prius, so... You grew up. I grew up, <laughs> had a baby, and now I've turned into a big sissy man. Okay, what is your opinion of the worst car on the road? The worst car on the road? I, I used to say the Kia, because when they came out they were a bit, you know, plastic, fantastic, but now they're great cars. They've made a comeback. they made a comeback, man. What is the car you drive now? You've, said, you've said it, the Prius. Yeah, and I have a, a GMC as well. I have a truck, which is an American... General Motors, which is fantastic. SUV is good, especially with a kid high on the road, you know. Final question, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear would be my, something happening to my son. Uh, he's nine weeks old now and um, yeah, I mean, I still wake up and I'm like, you know, is he breathing? Oh my God, he's breathing, thank God. And that's, I mean, that's every dad, I'm sure, you know, does that. Well, mate, you're definitely a winner from Winners and Losers. Thanks, Thanks Nathan. Nice really really appreciate it. Yeah, you could go in there and feed your baby. Check. Know, Who is looking baby. after the baby My while you're here? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, done. Thanks, baby. Thanks, brother. Well, that's it. We are done and dusted for another week. And if you want any more information on any of the stories from today's show, hit up zoomtv.com.au. And if you're a motor enthusiast and you've got an event that you want everyone to know about, just let us know. Go to the website, hit the events tab, and leave us all the details. So until next week, as Aaron always says, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. I'll see you then. And that's a wrap.